everyone welcome back to the vintage fern um i have another 25 piece of mixed clothing women's um which mixed sizes mixed everything from thread up this came from duluth georgia um be sure to check out my past box um nothing it was kind of a flop so I'm hoping that this one has a couple good pieces in it and then i can add some new fresh cute things to my closet um be sure to check out my links below um save you some money on uh thread up poshmark macari if you haven't signed up before so yeah and feel free to leave a comment a question down below and i will get back to you but let's see what we have in here i have not opened it i under the tape just so I could see the receipt to see that this was the next clothing but have not opened it yet. Take out the first chunk of clothing here. First we have a Charlotte Bruce. Pretty sure this company went bankrupt. <laughs> um, but this is a size extra small, very stretchy, has a little cold shoulder kind of shimmery It'd be a really cute like swimsuit cover up top but nothing exciting with that at all and we have banana republic factory or outlet size extra small really pretty though tiffany blue so i'll definitely put that in the description um because a lot of people like that tiffany blue color and it's a color that works on anyone of any complexion but Nothing too exciting with that either. Then we have Old Navy Pixie. Um, not a fan of Old Navy at all, <laughs> personally, and for reselling, but I do know that certain jeans and pants from Old Navy just kind of have this following. I mean, 10 or $15, depending what it is, maybe. Um, so not big money at all, but a lot of people like know like I'm a size six at you know in this the old navy pixie and so they'll search it out and they know that it'll fit. So this is just a navy with the little like flower and pattern, but seem to be good shape. And then we have the Gap Slim Crop size twelve, very fun yellow printed pants, so cute, but just Gap, so nothing crazy. Next I see this like bomber jacket, um, really cute with this burgundy and mauve color, and then the inside is this printed detail. I'm not seeing a tag though, but I found one in here. Doesn't have the size. Has an RN number. So I'm wondering if this is reversible, I'm assuming. Yeah. But I'll have to look up this RN number, but it does not feel, I'm pretty sure it's just all polyester, so nothing crazy, but it is really cute. Then we have White House Black Market, size double zero. This is paisley top with this little like boho sleeve, slight bell sleeve. And it has these little eyelets, so I wonder if something strung through this or if that's just how it's supposed to be, I'm not sure. But a good top for the office. Try and grab the next bundle here. Okay, what's happening? Okay, <laughs> kind of figure it out. Um, so this is B Darlin, which I think is sold at like some lower end department stores, but has kind of that boho vibe with this 70s print detail. So it's pretty cute. I couldn't see the size though. Then this is Jessica Simpson maternity. So that's cute little flowy top. It looks like it did have a belt though. 
So it has little loops. But Jessica Simpson Maternity does okay. Um, so I sold some of my maternity stuff, just a few things, and nothing crazy, but people definitely search it out. She has some really cute maternity stuff. And this is Kato, size 22 slash 24W. Just a plaid top that will be perfect for fall. I don't think I see anything wrong with it. It has the like hidden buttons, but really cute and a good size to add to my closet. Here's Willie Smith, size 2X. Really cute, like asymmetrical hem, sleeveless top. Not a very amazing brand, but size 2X. So that's, again, it'll be good to add to my closet. This is really cute. Um, they're actually shorts. I might keep these because they are just Target, a new day size medium but really cute shorts so if they don't fit me then i think i can sell those even them even though they're just um target well this is exciting this is millie i've never found this brand or received it but it's size six waiting to see flaws <laughs> I'm not sure of the like current resale value with Millie. I just know it is a high-end brand. But this is a really cute skirt. And skirts are more difficult to sell. But this, I love the style of this. Just scream 70s. These buttons and this um, pattern. So that's exciting. I hope. <laughs> Then let's see, I'm gonna button this up. We have J. Crew 365 Easy Pant, size six. So it's kind of like a straight leg and they just slip on, like it's just elastic in the back. And yeah, like it says, Easy Pant. So be perfect for the office. I don't think I see any flaws, so those should sell. Then we have Serengeti, 100% polyester. So it looks like this is a catalog, it says serengetticatalog.com. But this, there's more pieces for it, I'll show you. But it's this royal blue with this little cute trim, the black trim. That doesn't go to it okay here it is and then this little matching jacket that goes over it with the cute little flower detail here so no idea what this would go for especially being 100 percent polyester i never heard of that brand um but with it being the same size matching set i'm assuming hopefully like 15 or 20 dollars Okay, next we have this really atrocious, as in like, should just be thrown away, Banana Republic size small jacket. It's just, it has like staining all over it. It's missing the belt. It's like food stains on it. Like, it's kind of, why did you even send this to me? Um, I will probably just throw this away. I don't even know if I'll donate it. But it's cute with this like black panel on the bottom, but it's not worth my time to try and stain treat it. So otherwise it could have been a cute little spring jacket. Here is Abilene. Looks like a boutique um, brand, size large. And it's just this little like halter top. It has the little opening, whoa. But it's hard to show you. But yeah, that kind of um, kangaroo pocket swoop front <laughs> was a little, also kind of more popular a few years ago. Okay, here's the last bunch here. So I am liking this box better than my other one so far. 
still nothing crazy to me. Um, that Millie skirt, I don't know. I just, I know it used to be on my like list of a brand I wanted to find, like especially at Goodwill, but I have no idea if that's like super depreciated or could totally depend obviously on what it is. Um, but hopefully we can sell it for like 25 or $30. Oh look, we got another pair of these Kiss pants, new with tag, size large. I'll have to see if the other ones are a size large and I'll bundle these both for like five or ten dollars. <laughs> then we have mod cloth. I love mod cloth. So to me that's exciting. Size six. Um, and they're kind of like these linen gacho type like culottes here it's only 20% linen but really cute just easy breezy flowy pants so that's cool next we have J Crew stretch size 4 this little khaki skirt cute little pockets Um, and then here's unique low, size medium. Probably maybe like $10 just because it's a classic denim top. Um, no idea what this is. Not seeing a tag. Let's see. Sweet Rogue size medium it's like on the inside but I'm assuming this is nothing special but it has this little like kind of mesh top little sweetheart scoop this little skater dress discreet again not sure seems like kind of a lower end junior department store brand Forever 21 vibes. It's like mesh see-through with the little embroidery. Then we have this where the tag was unfortunately cut out. Feels like pretty good quality, but as you can see, the tag is cut out, which is why ThreadUp did not take it, obviously. But it's just kind of like a kimono slash cover-up, so maybe I'll just keep this for myself. Lila P, size medium. I feel like I've heard of this brand, but don't remember anything about it. It's this navy, soft, kind of jersey, stretchy, simple dress. We have another Sargenti size petite large. Has that blue detail in the middle. So, huh, no idea. No idea what that is. What do we have here? Then we have Suzanne Betro 3X. So again, another good size maxi dress really cute um how it has the gray contrast you can see it's lighter gray on this side but darker over here so as long as there's no flaws that should do sell pretty quick i'd say for twenty dollars don't know the brand but just going off the style and size and then our last piece is a unique low size small trench coat and it does have the belt so perfect for fall once again um so yeah maybe like twenty dollars for this guy but yeah that is it for the second box of 25 pieces of mixed women's clothing um i do like this box better than the first hopefully we're on a streak here where we'll keep going up um, and my next box will be even better, but I think I'll be able to double, triple my money. Um, 
yeah, I'll take more of a look and let me know. Maybe I can do an update video on how these go after I've listed and sold some things to let you know. Um, I guess I'll be kind of the guinea pig to see if you really can make money on these boxes. So yeah, leave me a comment below and don't know why I did that, but <laughs> anyways, um, let me know what you think and stay tuned for more because I've got a lot more coming your way. See you guys.